As Pastor Dennis and I were out on a bike ride, appropriately distanced as I tried to keep up with him. We were exploring the things that were missing in the season of shelter in place. Now, Dennis commented on how we're missing out on all the one another's, those opportunities to lean into each other's lives for the benefit of each other and for the body of Christ as a whole. This got us to thinking about exploring the one another passages and considering how we might practice them at home so that we're better prepared to come back together, ready to love one another in all its facets, as Scripture exhorts. Indeed, the whole list of one another passages all ride on the back of the new command given by Jesus himself. Now we know that he put strong emphasis on the two great commands, love God and love your neighbor. But then he gave further clarity to that just before submitting to the greatest act of love for all, for all time. He told his disciples to love one another after his own example, and that in so doing, they would be identified as his followers, if they loved one another. Now, in later years, the Apostle Paul, addressing those who had identified as Christ followers, labored to bring clarity to what loving one another looks like. Now, Peter and James and the author of Hebrews weighed in on this as well. But the vast majority of one another instructions comes from Paul's writings. So travel along with us in this 10-part series as we discover what one another love looks like. Look for the link on the main page of the website or opt in for text notification when each short video becomes available. These will not be exhaustive explorations but we hope to provide enough insight for you to put them into practice. And when we're all back together again, we'll all be better for it. Happy one anothering.